Okay, the time has come for me to share with you my entire unread TBR, also known as a bookshelf tour. So if you are newer, um, then you may not know, but I don't generally keep books that I've read. Um, there are a few exceptions, maybe five, <laughs> um, of books that are on my shelves that I've already read, but otherwise everything is to be read. So we're gonna, we're gonna see how many I've got today. Um, <laughs> I'm hoping it's not too much above the 100 mark, but we shall see. And I won't know until I have edited. So I'll come back at the end once I've edited it and done all the numbers and uh, react. But I may well be wearing different clothes because I have a limited filming time today, AKA Charlie's nap time. And um, if I don't manage to get this and another video filmed and everything edited, then it will be tomorrow or Monday that I'm actually able to come back and uh, react to how many books I have. So without any further preamble, we're going to go through what I've got. So I have got three bookshelves. I've got this one behind me and this just contains sort of pretty books on a couple of the shelves um, and all my hardbacks. And then I have my shelves in my office slash snug area, um, which is generally all my paperbacks or most of my paperbacks, the ones that I can fit on there. And then downstairs we have like a communal bookshelf um, where I have the top shelf, my husband has the middle shelf and the bottom shelf is just a mishmash of whatever else happens to be lying around. So those are the three bookshelves. But before I go into bookshelves, I do also have some books in my TBR basket. So um, if you haven't seen these before, these are so cool. I, this lives on my nightstand and it's from Clumsy Cow Creations. Uh, I will link the Etsy shop below. Um, but this is a small business run by the delightful Julie over at The Hungry Bookworm. So support small businesses and support booktubers at the same time and get one of these amazing organizers. <laughs> she also does bookmarks. Um, but the book that I have with the bookmark in is downstairs. So I'll link her shop and her channel below. Please check her out, she is delightful. But let's just go through the books that I've got in here at the moment. Um, <clears throat> we've got The Mountain Sing by Nguyen Phang Kimei, Kindred by Octavia E. Butler, Convenience Store Woman by Sayaka Murata, Girl Woman Other by Bernadine Everiste, Sorrow and Bliss by Meg Mason, Bring Up the Bodies by Hilary Mantel, the Kite Runner by Carla Tussini and Hollypox by Jessica Townsend. So those are all the ones that I'm either currently reading or were on my TBR for May. So some of these will go back on the bookshelves very shortly because I haven't got to them. Uh, check out my TBR video, which should have gone up on Tuesday. And yeah, let's see what other books I have on the bookshelves and top them all up. Okay, let's start with the bottom shelf. Brown Baby by Nikesh Shukla, Devotion by Hannah Kent, The Family by Martina Cole, Teardrop by Lauren Kate, The Space Between Us by Makaya Johnson, Orphans of the Storm by Celia Imry, Shuggy Bane by Douglas Stewart, The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware, The New Kingdom by Wilbur Smith and Mark Chadbourne, the Sister Who Ate Her Brothers and Other Gruesome Tales by Jen Campbell, illustrated by Adam D'Souza. Stay With Me by Ayubami Adebayo. The Devil in the Dark Water by Stuart Turton. Tomessa's Street by 30 Authors. Becoming by Michelle Obama. Earthshot, How to Save Our Planet by Colin Butfield and Johnny Hughes. The Pink House at Appleton by Jonathan Braham. The Life-Changing Magic of Not Giving a Fuck by Sarah Knight. Clara and the Sun by Kazu Ishiguro. And Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. Greek Myths by Jean Menzies, illustrated by Katie Ponder. The Husband, a Little Ladybird book. Skandar and the Unicorn Thief by A.F. Stedman. Cloud Cuckoo Land by Anthony Dore. How Beautiful We Were by Mbolo Mbue. 
The School for Good Mothers by Jasmine Chan, Lost Roses by Martha Hall Kelly, The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna, Wahala by Nikki May, Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson, The Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling, and Villette by Charlotte Bronte. Elantris by Brandon Sanderson, The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson, and The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. The Storm Sister, The Shadow Sister, and The Pearl Sister by Lucinda Riley. Zorro by Isabel Allende. The Huntress by Kate Quinn. Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. How We Disappeared by Jing Jing Lee. And Jason and Medea by Apollonius of Rhodes. Okay, I'm double stacked here, FYI. <laughs> Me and My Dad at the End of the Rainbow by Benjamin Dean. An Unnecessary Woman by Rabia Alamadeen. Sweet Bean Paste by Jerian Sekagawa. The World That Was Ours by Hilda Bernstein. Bitter by Okweke Emeze. The Wild Folk by Sylvia V. Lindstedt. The Last Bear by Hannah Gold. The Earthsea Quartet by Ursula K. Le Guin. White Chrysanthemum by Mary Lynn Bracht. In the Time of Butterflies by Julia Alvarez. Force of Nature by Jane Harper. We Are Displaced by Malala Yousafzai. The Age of Miracles by Karen Thompson Walker. Us Three by Ruth Jones. Jungle by Yossi Ginsberg. We the Survivors by Tash Orr. If I Had Your Face by Frances Cha. The Wife's Tale by Ada Edamarium. Washington Black by Essie Edugian. The Mercies by Kieran Millwood Hargrave, Firefly Lane by Kristen Hanna, and The Mountains Echoed, and A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khaled Husseini, Shirley by Charlotte Bronte, Incendiary by Chris Cleave, The Namesake by Jhumpa Lahiri, The Snow Child by Aowen Ivy, An Unsafe Haven by Nadar Awar Jarrah, and There There by Tommy, Tommy Orange, The Dragon Republic by R.F. Kwong, Station Eleven by Hilary St. John Mandel. The Shadow King by Maza Mengiste. A Woman Is No Man by Etta Rum. Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. White Is For Witching by Helen Oyeyemi. Someone I Used To Know by Paige Toon. If Beale Street Could Talk by James Baldwin. Normal People by Sally Rooney. My Sister's Keeper by Jodie Pickle. Dear Mrs. Bird by A.J. Pierce. The Warlow Experiment by Alex Nathan. A Little Life by Hanya Yanagahara. The Bookwoman of Troublesome Creek by Kim Michelle Richardson. And The Discomfort of Evening by Marieke Lucas Ridgenevald. The Five, The Untold Lives of the Women Killed by Jack the Ripper by Hallie Rubenhold. The Leopard Unleashed by Elizabeth Chadwick. Huckleberry Finn and the Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. Ghostfire by Wilbur Smith. Cutting for Stone by Abraham Verghese. The Donor by Claire McIntosh. Breathing Lessons by Anne Tyler. The Dancing Face by Mike Phillips. The Space Between Us by Thriti Umraga. Strange Weather in Tokyo by Hiromi Kawakami. At the Mountains of Madness by H.P. Lovecraft. Daisy Miller and the Turn of the Screw by Henry James. Patsy by Nicole dennis Bem. Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse, The Valley of Horses by Jean M. All and Early Riser by Jasper Ford, The Goblin Emperor by Catherine Addison, The Poisonwood Bible by Barbara Kingsolver, Warlock by Wilbur Smith, Interview with the Vampire by Anne Rice, Catherine Howard The Tainted Queen by Alison Ware, The Number One Ladies Detective Agency by Alexander McCall Smith, Trip Tyke by Karen Slaughter, Heroes by Joe Abercrombie, The Blood of Elves by Andre Sapkowski, Black Mamba Boy by Nadifa Muhammad, The Mirror and the Light by Hilary Mantel, The Blinding Knife by Brent Weeks, The Once and Future King by T.H. White, and The Travelling Cat Chronicles by Hiro Arakawa. House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielewski, Dangerous Women by Hope Adams, The Comfort Book by Matt Haig, Wolf Winter by Cecilia Eckback, The Colour of Magic by Terry Pratchett, 
Drive Your Plough Over the Bones of the Dead by Olga Tokarczuk. S, a novel about the Balkans by Slavenka Drakulic. English Pastoral, An Inheritance, James Redbanks. Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. Three Apples Fell from the Sky by Noreen Abgarian. Mr. Loverman by Bernadine Evaristo. Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. Flesh, Bone, Water by Louisa Salma. Daughter of Fortune by Isabel Allende. Once Upon a River by Diane Setterfield. The Turn of Midnight by Minette Walters. Burial Rites by Hannah Kent. Sophia Khan is Not Obliged by Aisha Malik. Brideshead Revisited by Evelyn Moore. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, an original screenplay by J.K. Rowling. Life as a Unicorn by Amru al Khadi. Exciting Times by Nisha Dolan. The People in the Trees by Hanya Yanagahara. And The Flames of Albion by June Z. Menzies. Okay, this is my husband's shelf, <laughs> but there's just a few on here that I want to read. So, Papillon by Henry Charrier. The Voice of the Jamaican Ghetto by Vibes Cartel. The Mountain Shadow by Gregory David Roberts. Tribe by Bruce Parry. Mother of God by Paul Rizzoli. The Lost City of Zed by David Gran. And The Lost City of the Monkey God by Douglas Preston. And this is just a bit of a mishmash shelf. So, um, so on here, the only two that are mine are Affinity by Sarah Waters and Things in Jars by Jess Kidd. Okay, so that was a smidge over a hundred, just just a smidge. A hundred and fifty-seven. Um, yeah. Okay, we'll uh, see if that goes up or down next year. I'm not making any promises. I'm not. Um, I'm not going to do an Alice and be like, I'm not buying any more books till my TBR has gone down. So here's. Have you met me? Um, but yeah. That is all my books. Let me know which ones I should prioritise if you've read any of these and they're like outstanding. I would really like to know. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed looking at all the books that I have to read. Um, they should keep me busy for some time. If you're interested in looking at the books I actually did read last year, you can see that video right here. Okay, cheers guys. Bye.